Good. That's what we want. Yeah, it did. Got one. Got one? Okay, Eddie got one. Eddie got one. Welcome back to the channel. We're here at Hesperia Lake and I brought Sophie. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna meet some friends here. If the fishing goes good, we'll stay here. If not, we can go to Silverwood. It's not too far. Yeah, not too but I did, far. as you know, I like to give a couple tips and I just wanted to mention that the main road, the main road is down here. So just keep going down until you see this lake park. And then you, you come in here, you pay for your passes, your wristband, and then you go back out to the main road until you see a guard shack. And that's where you'll go and fish. But you got to come here first. You'll need some ID need and then you'll get a bracelet. Okay. Because this is my first time and I got a little confused. So I thought you guys could use the tip. It's 38 bucks for one adult and one child. You can get a like a bracelet. So let's see what's up, see what happens. We're throwing around a cast master, possibly a spoon afterwards. Let's see if we can get bit. So this is the rig that we got Sophie on, double drop, treble shot, with two different types of power baits, one yellow and one peach color, salmon peach. Do you need help? Sophie just started using a five foot rod instead of using her small bait caster. We were practicing on her casting. Looks like she got it down. Ain't nobody got time for that. I got snagged. Uh, cast master. Oh, it's somebody's somebody set up. Yeah, that's a cast master. Uh, green and yellow. Oh, you're out of, uh, you don't have any bait. Do you remember how to put on power bait? Normally, Sophie uses lures instead of uh, power bait. And you know, power bait, when you're retrieving it with a drop shot, it'll start coming off the, the treble hooks. There we go. Here. So I got right now uh, ultralight heavyweights. Got the white and the black. We've got this clear nymph right here, uh, ultralight heavyweights. Let's throw on that grasshopper, MJ. What'd you say? Okay. You want some water? Yeah. We can get you some water in a bit. Good. That's what we want. Yeah, it did. Sometimes before I cast, I check the action of my mini jig or whatever I'm casting out, just to make sure it has the right action. If it spins or it curls or just doesn't swim naturally, the fish won't bite it. So recently a subscriber asked me if he should run braid on his setup for mini jigging. And personally, my advice would be if you're just starting out, just run some two pound copolymer, Iser line or whatever line you'd like, and then move on to braid if you like, but it's not really necessary. Here I'm casting about 15, 20 feet, and usually fish, when they come up to feed, they pull in shallow. Got one. Got one? Got one. Got one. Got one. Got one. I got it. It's okay, it's okay. It's not that big. I do. My dad caught something. There's a trail. Oh my god. Just a jig. Thanks, dude. Oh, 
drop shot or just mini? Just mini jig. That's, that's, that's my there, thing. Yeah. Mini jigging. Uh, oh, it's a Laker color. Forgot about it. We gotta clean them up, make them look nice and pretty for the pictures. There it is. Ultralight heavyweights, Laker jig. You can buy ultralight heavyweights mini jigs there at the store when you go buy your wristband. They're sold there for obvious reasons. But full disclosure, these are my personal mini jigs. I brought them to the lake. So this is for my personal stash. And I might be wrong, but I think that's the only brand they carry there at the store. When you go pay on your left side, that whole wall is filled with mini jigs and minnows. I'm gonna throw a different variation of the yellow and white. This is the OG color right here. Fish on. Um, yellow and white. Ultra light heavyweights. All fast. <laughs> okay, Sylvie. Sylvie. No. Excuse me, Sylvie. Let me get my nap, I forgot to grab it. Like a two, two, three pounder. All right, right over here, brother. Can you see my sorry? Think so. Not ready. All right, Sophie, let me bring it in. Oh. There we go. Let me see it. Yeah, I guess I'll need your help, dude. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Kept running, dude. I'm like, come on, man. Just swallowed it. Wish I can get a good picture of that, but that's a yellow and white. Ultralight heavyweights jig. Go and get you some. So that was the day. Um, we caught two on the jig. We tried drop shotting, um, Carolina rig, and we threw spoons out there. And we also even threw some cast masters. The cast masters didn't work. There we go. And um, yeah, so I saw two guys hook up. I saw two guys hook up with power bait and same thing, uh, yellow, but with some of that garlic scent, but that was it. And it's, I gotta say, it's a, it's a, it's a nice lake. They stock decent sized fish. I got two, two pounders. Here's the first one that still has the 
ultralight heavyweights mini jig 2.47 oh i think this is the bigger one 257 but uh i mean i can't complain decent sized fish and they were somewhat back to back it seemed like the bite turned on around between 10 to 11 but from what was it, i think seven o'clock to nine which i was expecting the bite to to really be on it, it just didn't happen so overall good lake it is a little pricey and the drive is for at least for me i, I it's because i don't like driving yeah. but then again i am i'm a picky person sometimes but i would come back with that being said thanks for watching um leave me a like subscribe let me know if you have any questions i can help you out and like the video like the video like i said thanks for watching again guys we'll catch you next one <coughs>